So we're down four tenths of a percent. Negativity once again, 20,742 points on the NSC. Uh, are we going to see uh, the numbers out of the banking sector make or break uh, the overall performance for this year? Um, I think the banking sector still remains very key. Uh, I think for us, the next big name we're waiting for is First Bank. Uh, I think prior to the results season starting, there was a general sense of optimism in the market. And I think that investors were poised, both uh, internationally and certainly some domestic players also looking at at some of the banking names given the high dividend yields. But you know, as you know, some of those numbers disappointed. Uh, the next sort of major bank to report is, is First Bank. And unfortunately, the results won't be out until uh, or, or 10 or 14 days' time. Um, if those results are uh, in line with expectations, if we see you know, ROEs are sort of in the mid to, to high teens, um, I think that uh, there will be a sort of a sigh of relief that whatever may have been going on in terms of extra provisioning is not as severe as, as was feared um, because two of the, of, the, of the four big banks were, were sort of in line. Um, and then we could begin to see a regrouping. Really, but I mean, with these numbers that have even disappointed, the point is that they're not forward looking. They're actually just looking at the numbers for 2011. And some would argue that the worst could actually be over. Should we not be looking ahead and say, well, yes, uh, things perhaps went bad towards the end of last year, but that, that time is behind us? Um, I think that that's a fair point, and, and I think that I think that under normal circumstances that would be exactly the point. I think the challenge with the Nigerian market has been that investors have been waiting for quite a while for the banking sector to turn, and there have been a few false starts uh, along the way. And there was a real sense that really, you know, we were going to see the, the sort of a broad-based signs of green shoots uh, in the 2011 numbers, and that hasn't happened. So there's a there's a now sort of returning to the drawing board just to make sure that they have made all of the correct assumptions and evaluated things in the correct way. I mean, the key thing at the end of the day is still going to be management, management teams. Do I believe that I can uh, take confidence in, in, the, in the assessments and the guidance of the management teams if um, I can find myself, uh, you know, having spoken to or received guidance a few weeks or a few couple of months before and then see a spectacular variation when the results actually come out. So that's really where the issue is. It's not that the opportunity isn't clear, but it's just, you know, trying to assess who will deliver. So really, I mean, when you look at the banking sector as a whole, as an investment case, do you think it's slightly too early yeah. to actually be putting your head on the table? Okay. Well, I, I wouldn't say, I think for, for those that are committed to the geography, uh, they will still be picking their names. But I think in terms of new money coming in any broad-based way, um, there may be an extra layer of caution uh, on account of this. I just think there's a little bit of fatigue uh, by investors, especially international guys, with respect to the Nigerian banks. That's really the issue. Okay, so really, I mean, looking at the other sectors that have been doing quite well, uh, you know, industrial is looking pretty good. Are you expecting this kind of trend to continue? Um, yes, I mean, I think that uh, we are, the, the, you know, the, the consumer story and, and the, um, you know, the building material story uh, still remains strong and, and those guys have been relatively more consistent in, in their delivery. With uh, Dangote Cement, the, the results were in line with our expectations, the four-year results, albeit the dividend payout was, was much less. But, you know, the company is still in a, in a growth phase on, on the Pan-African front and, and so internal cash flows will be diverted towards these sources. So the story remains intact. And it's a very strong story that, you know, the push for greater transparency and, and, and governance standards uh, at that name because of the intent to to list in, on a major sort of international market uh, is, is a very positive development for that sector without a doubt for that company in particular.